Born in Louisville, Kentucky back in 1942 is Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali. No denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC. Team. One, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. So it won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, if you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. He's a tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC's office. And he's got a lot of size, he's got a lot of length. We really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. business you think he's going to set it up again i am certain he's going to try and set that up again expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle he's real good at trying to find that shot pretty good jab there by tyson beautiful job getting those hands up Just over three minutes now to go. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice punch by Ali. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. 
All right, so another ringing jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his base. The way that he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. He does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he finds himself ahead. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's a big hook there. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. And both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Muhammad Ali's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being passive, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Nice straight right lands. his opponent is though still standing still in their fight 20 seconds to go oh, how good is this? both men going for the finish oh big left what an end of round one all right so there's the end of the round you see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. <laughs> Let's get to the next round. Pretty strong jab there by Ali. Finds a home for the left hand there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Found the target again. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Well, no feeling up process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. So Iron Mike Tyson's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. And now the jab gets through. Just misses with the straight right. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Tyson's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Ali's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure about that. He's hurt bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the... Oh. Straight right hand now just misses. 
All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. Blood in the water. You gotta go in the game. You gotta go find the finish. You can't. Oh, man. He's affected the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. Oh. How about those five minutes? All right, there's the end of the round. High intensity, high drama. The nose is severely cut up right now. We'll see what the cut man can do to try to maximize these 60 seconds. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue to... Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Ali's nose is... So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion, Iron Mike Tyson.